Hey, I'm Bob with Laguna Tools. We're at the Laguna Tools Research and Development Facility in Irvine, California, and we're looking at a new product that's just been introduced. It's called the Laguna CNC Auto Loading CNC Router. The purpose of the auto loader is to get more productivity out of the CNC without requiring more people. One person can still operate the machine. There's really very little lifting because all the materials handled automatically, and it really makes it a much simpler job for the operator. Okay, let me walk you through this process. Let's go back on the other end of the machine, and you'll notice there's a scissor lift with a stack of material. In our case, we're using three quarter inch melamine. So that's actually loaded with a forklift. So you don't, I don't really have to lift those sheets and put them on there. And as the sheet is loaded, the stack automatically raises to the next sheet. So it, that stuff's done automatically. Okay, the process starts with the machine loading the sheet. The machine traverses down here, so that those suction cups are over the end of the panel. They pick it up with vacuum, then as the gantry moves along, the panel moves along with the eight of these rollers, and it pulls it all the way down and basically puts it on top of the table. Okay, once the gantry has positioned the material on the table, then a fence comes up and a pusher from the opposite side presses it against it. That aligns it in one axis. Then a pin pops up and another pusher aligns it from the other end. So that lines it perfectly on the table. Once it's aligned, those pins retract and the vacuum is automatically turned on. Okay, so now all the programs have been loaded by network into the machine control, so they're already there. All the operator has to do is look on this sheet, see the program number, and select start. That starts the process. Now, once the first sheet is processed, the machine retracts back here and it does two things at one time. Of course, it picks the sheet up like we saw earlier, but something else is happening that you didn't see before, and that is this actual pusher comes down on the table, it vacuums the table, and it pushes the previous sheet down to the other table. Okay, now once this sheet is completed and the pusher's pushing it away, it comes down here onto this table, it activates an electric eye, and it starts feeding all these parts down here until they break a light beam on this end. Okay, so now at this time, the machine's running the next sheet. So I have until that cycles over, until that repeats. So this is when I put labels on, and I also take the parts off of the machine, and it's real simple. I take a part, I put it on a stack or a rack or wherever I'm gonna process it, but if you watch as I take these parts off, it automatically feeds. Okay, now we spent uh, quite a bit of time now showing the process and I hope you understand how this thing works. Let's focus now a little bit more on the CNC part of it. If you look at this auto load machine, you have the material handling, the outfeed, and you have a CNC machine. About 75% of the cost is the machine itself. The rest of it is the, the attachments. Now let's look at this. This is actually the SS4 Smart Shop 4 frame. And it's, it's heavier than the other smart shop models, but there's a reason. CNC machine tools nowadays are designed as solid models by computers. So that gives us the ability to determine stresses before anything's made. And that's why you'll see now machines are very, very well engineered. One of our intents when we created this machine was to create a machine that we could use for panel processing. And that's pretty much going to be drilling and routing. And so the head package on here of course, there's a router head, a 12 horsepower HSD head with a tool changer, and a boring block, an HSD boring block. Well, if you take a look at that, there's quite a lot of mass there. Now, if you see, in fact, each of those heads has its own Z axis in there. And so between that and the mass behind their support, there's a lot of mass there. Well, when you plug that mass into the computer, you know, everything from there back has to be larger in order to have uh, rigidity at the, at the cut. That's why tools frames get larger as you put more on the tool plate. You know, if we're doing simply the, a machine with a tool changer, we can, we can lighten things. Now, and the other, to compound that, we're also using the gantry to move material back and forth, so it takes a lot of, lot of torque to do that. Therefore, everything from here down is much larger. But that's what we designed the Smart Shop for frame for, so that we could do those kinds of things with it. You know, tool change is real important in this machine design. So we basically put a rotary carousel tool changer in there that's mounted to the gantry. 
so it moves back and forth with the gantry. So it, it opens up a lot of clearance areas so that we don't have to worry about where the material's coming from and tool changers being in the way. And it makes tool change a lot faster because all I have to do is, is come across to the side and do a tool change. It's a really efficient way to do that. If you watch in the video, this machine is unbelievably smooth. You watch it, it's quick, it accelerates. That's due to the motion control systems. Now, one of the things it's due to is it's uh, servo driven. So these are closed loop servo. Second is those are connected to planetary drives, which are also really, really smooth. And we're driving with relatively large pinions. So that's what really makes all this happen. And of course, like on all the smart shops, you got helical racks, you've got uh, really, really good contour guide rails, ball screws and seats. So all those things contribute to how well the machine performs. One thing that keeps the machine moving real smoothly over time is automatic grease lubrication. So even if you forget to grease it, the machine hasn't forgotten. The Laguna Smart Shop 4s feature the, the new Osai Open Controller. It's a full feature controller. Now, it actually has a Windows interface, but it's, that's separate from the machine control. It's, it's not the machine control. It gives you an interface to operate from. The nice part about it is now I can connect to network, so when I want to send files back to the machine, it's, it's, it's much simpler. And here's a feature I really like on these machines, and it's called MPG, which means manual pulse generation. I can take this little knob and I can move that machine in tiny increments in any axis, and it comes in really handy when you're touching tools off or making special setups. It's a great feature. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. One of the things we wanted to touch on in this was that whole concept of an auto load for a machine, for a CNC router, and why it makes sense and, and why you may need it. If you notice, in fact, when we came out with nesting originally, the whole idea was the savings was because the load unload ratio was very low compared to the cycle time. And that's true, but there's another factor that goes into that sometimes, and that is worker fatigue. So, you know, a worker starts out real fast in the morning and middle afternoon, you know, it's a lot, takes a lot longer to load and unload. And I think when a worker gets tired, the cycle time and load and unload are about the same. Auto load cures that problem because the machine controls that. And it's going to be about a minute. By the time it ends one pound and goes to the next, it's about a minute. So that's control. That's not a variable of a worker anymore. The work your worker does is actually done over here while the machine's cutting the next sheet. Another thing I like about it is it takes one employee. Most of these other approaches to, for more productivity, you're going to end up with two workers to do it. This takes one worker. And I noticed also that you don't have to lift sheets of material. You basically put a stack in with a forklift or some other device, and the machine handles all the material. The biggest piece I had to unload off here was the largest part of the nest. And that makes a difference, especially as you get older and you're handling parts. But I think the real advantage to that is it gives you more productivity and you can still stay with one worker. So that's, I think that's the reason to look at an auto load system. If you need more information on the Laguna CNC auto load machine, call us at 1-800-234-1976 or you can go to www.lagunatools.com. Thank you for watching.